welcome back friends in the last video we have seen uh, how to uh, uh, create a accounts account microservice we have created account microservice that account microservice we have uh, integrated with the uh, we integrated integrated with config server and the service registry that we have seen okay now i want to give some small clarity in the last video i have used um, configuration uh, repository different configuration repository that is a private repository that is this is the repository i used um, This repository I use. This is a private repository. Okay, this is a private repository you cannot access. Okay, so I don't want to use this repository from now on. In this, uh, in the first session of microservice, the first session of microservice is uh, session 13. Session 13 is a uh, first session of microservice. Okay, in this session I used a local repository. I used my local repository. So uh, if you follow that. Yeah, if you follow if you follow this video if you watch this video you should know how to create a local repository how to connect with a local repository we are in your example okay you can follow this uh, the last video i used my wrong repository that is a private repository i don't want to use that from now on i'll going to use i'll going to use a public repository i have created already this is a config repo this is a config repo is a public repository we will going to use this repository okay how to use that repository in our uh, microservices that part we will going to see today okay let me open my config service the config service you see i am using my private repository and a uh, username and a password um, i don't want to use this private repository i want to use the public repository what is the public repository this is the public repository right you have to copy this you have to copy this and uh, we can paste that url the default iphone label some people ask me what is a, a label when you look at here you, you can see the main is pointing main and uh, pointing main right like that there is a one more label master the private repository you can see one more label master let me go to the private repository this is uh, this is a private repository right in the private repository you can see uh, main is a one more label master is a one more level under master level only i have added all the config files that's the reason i am using master in the case of private okay now i'm going to use public right um, public repository in the case of public repository, we have to use the label which is used by public repository. What is the label you using here? Configs repo. Config repo you using main, right? So we need to use main. Main and I, I copied that already I copied that uh, public repository URL. Then username password this is a public right? We no need to pass username and password. It's a just a uh, pass label and uh, uh, repo URL. That's it. So let me open one of the uh, YAML file. Let's take uh, account service YAML file. This is account service YAML file. See, the last example we used account hyphen DB, account hyphen test hyphen DB, right? Let me change that here. I'll open. This is my local repository of my public repository. I pulled here. In this location, I pulled here. Okay. Let me open this folder in the IntelliJ itself. Open. Just to go to that location, just uh, click that uh, folder, it will open. Okay, in the account service.yaml file, I need to use a database name. Database name is a account hyphen test hyphen db. Account hyphen test hyphen db. I need to use. Okay, username password is the same. Okay, no changes. And then uh, this here I call client. This, is op this configuration is optional configuration. And uh, this configuration are not, not required, I think. Uh, this is not required. Okay. 
this is not it right okay i keep it whatever we need that's it this part if you want you can keep it otherwise you can remove it the previous version of uh, spring boot we have to provide some version some version of spring boot application microservice application we have to add this uh, attribute the latest version we don't have to add this but in the case of uh, uh, for example, let's say you are deploying the Microsoft different different uh, instance, different different computer server. In, in such a case, we need we need to use. Definitely, I will go into uh, uh, do. Uh, I'll go into uh, create a video uh, for Amazon AWS uh, deployment. In in such a case, we need to use this Eureka naming server. Sorry, we we need to use this particular configuration. As of now, this configuration is not required. Okay. Hmm? I'll comment out this. I'll comment out. I'll comment out this. I'll commit this now. Commit. Whenever you change, you do any changes, you have to commit. Okay. Remove that. Unknown that. Configure. Commit. Git push. Okay, I committed this. Now, in, in our config service, pointing public repository and the uh, label is a main. Then I removed unnecessary uh, configuration, commented out. Let's con start the config server now. Yeah, started. Config service started. This error is. Uh, uh, don't worry about this error. We'll explain why this error is coming. Okay. Hmm? Now, as of now, the config service started. See, port number started at double eight double eight. Okay. Hmm? I'll go into use this localhost double eight double eight account service slash default. See whatever property uh, uh, available in the account service, account service configuration. Go to config repo. In the config repo, you can see account service YAML. Account service YAML, this is a configuration I have given. You can see the same thing here also. See? I'm able to access now. So this configuration coming from coming from public repository. This configuration coming from our public repository, this repository. Okay. Um, now I changed. So our config service pointing to our public repository. From this repository, I am accessing this particular account service configuration. Account service configuration. Um, here we have uh, also we have uh, um, other environment account service also. Dev one DQA. If you want to access Dev one DQA, what you have to do? Just you have to replace uh, Dev instead of uh, default. Dev is loading now. See, this is a dev. Dev is loading now. Yeah. Profile is a dev. Dev property is a loading now. And in, in the below, it's showing the default property. Okay. By default, always the default configuration will load. Okay. But the priority is a dev because I have given a dev. Okay. Now I'm going to use QA. So it's a queue, queue property is loaded, but still it's loading the uh, default property. If it is queue is not available, automatically this um, default property will be available in the first. So it will uh, based on the priority, whatever environment you are you are uh, using it, that environment will show first. If that environment proper uh, configuration is not available, your config service uses the default configuration. That is the meaning of uh, this particular loading. Okay, if you say default, it will use only default configuration. Default configuration. So it's not loading anymore. It's only default. If you use dev, what will happen? It will it load dev. Also, it load the default. But your config service will give the first preference to default configuration. It will share this configuration to your account services because your active profile is a dev. Okay, now our config service is pointing to our uh, public repository. It's, it's able to load the 
properties until uh, microservice complete the uh, until complete this course we will going to use the, the same repository we will going to use the same repository okay hmm. okay this is the public repository we are accessing remotely uh, some cases if you if, if, if you don't have a repository i want to use it in my locally uh, that is also possible okay how to do that that also i'll going to show see this is my local repository path the local path right i want to use this path how to use that i'll going to show that example now open your config service open your config service just command this out then copy your local path add url url colon space then we have to follow the syntax file colon colon double the file colon triple slash file colon we have to follow this follow this particular syntax file colon triple slash under followed by your local path followed by your local path okay now you are able to access this particular config repo able to access this particular config repo from your local system let me start the application there is a error called discovery client error is coming don't worry about that error i will explain later why that error is coming now we are now our focus is only config service Uh, one minute please be uh, you have to careful while adding the properties the default pane going uh, it's it's not parallel right make sure it's a parallel okay i think uh, it is not uh, proper we have to format it yeah format these are correct format okay these are correct control shift l uh, control alt l i think control yeah control alt is a format okay hmm? control alt l is a format it will format properly okay now i'll start the server Control Alt L is a shortcut for IntelliJ. Okay, hmm? to formatting this uh, file. Now started the application. It's looking for Eureka server. It will give error. Okay, let's see. We'll see that later. Now I'm going to access the same account service dev. Let's see it's coming or not. It's coming. Now I'm going to access default. It's coming. Okay. Now I want to make sure that it's it's, it's taking from locally. I want to make sure that I want to confirm that. How to confirm that? Let me open my uh, local config repo, the con service. Here I'm going to change this property now. This is coming from local. Just I'm changing this. I'm going to commit this now. Commit and push. I'm saying commit and push. I want to tell one thing here. This config repo, right? Already, already I committed here, right? Already I committed here. Already uh, the config repo is available here, right? If that is the case, uh, what you have to do? You have to uh, commit and push. That is a mandatory. Let's say if a config repo, this config repo. A config repo is not available you still you are not pushed all the configuration the repository in in such a case in such a case you have to uh, do only commit that is enough okay what i am saying is this config repo this config repo folder this config repo uh, folder locally available locally available right this locally available it's a local repository if this config repo already you pushed the entire uh, configuration in the git repository in such a case you need to um, commit and push you need to commit and uh, commit and push if 
the config repo just you have initialized uh, just you created the local repository you committed but it's not pushed to your git repository in such a case you just commit that is enough you know now in our case we need to do commit and push we have to do commit and push okay because this config repo already available in, in our github okay okay i committed and pushed that uh, these changes now i'm going to um load it see this is coming from local so the config service you don't have to um, don't have to uh, always point remote machine uh, re remote hub you can point your local repository also you can point local repository also if this local repository if this local repository only available in your local machine in such a case if you do commit that is enough the changes reflected in your config service if the config repo already pushed in your github repository you have to commit and push okay okay next next thing is we're going to see why this error is coming the reason the error is coming is this config server is looking for eureka naming server through this dependency this looking for eureka naming server eureka naming server i have not started yet right that's the reason it is giving the error it's trying to register this config server inside of the eureka naming server but i have not started the eureka naming server eureka naming server we need to start that what is the url for that this is the url right this will not come now so it's not reachable because it's not started yet let me start now started the eureka naming server see once started you can get here log, get some log here now uh, some log see we are getting some log it's saying that still it's giving some error let's see yeah it may take some time to register i think see discovery client registration status 2.4 uh, this uh, discovery client th this config service now registered inside discovery uh, eureka naming server that is a log for this in the in the in the eureka naming server log you can see here registered instance config service host config service host port number up and running now our config service registered if you refresh it you can see our config service if you clean it from now on you will not get the error from the config service the reason is i started the eureka naming server it's already registered so from on now from now on it will not give the error whenever start the uh, start our microservice according to our example according to our example first you need to start the config service you need to start the config service okay so because config service pull the all the configuration of your eureka naming server your eureka naming server uh, and the other microservices so we need to start the uh, config service first second you need to start the eureka naming server that's it after that you can start any microservices that could be account service that could be account service reporting service product service that's it okay tomorrow we'll going to see we'll going to complete the account account microservice implementation tomorrow we're going to complete the account microservice implementation okay then we'll, we'll start completing product service and the report service until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video